Okay, third graders, so I finished up drawing the city from last week, okay? Now what we want to do is we want to outline everything with a black marker so you can see where your buildings are. Now you can either use a black marker or use a black crayon to do this, okay? So I'm just, I'm going to try one building here with um, the black crayon first just to see how it works with the markers that we're going to be using. So let me just do this here. Okay. And then I'll use my Sharpie for another building here. I'm just kind of, because um, unlike school where I kind of have a chance to experiment as classes go on, uh, all of this is I'm doing this the first time, so I'm I'm not always sure how this is going to work out. All right, but in any case, outline whatever you have: black marker, black crayon. Okay, and then after that, what you need to do is to uh, take either your markers or your crayons. Again, doesn't matter. But you need to separate them into warm colors, all right? The colors of the sun, you know, if you think of something hot. And I have a lot more cool colors than warm colors right now. So um, separate them, a group of warm colors, a group of cool colors. And then what you're going to do is you are going to color each of your buildings either a warm color or a cool color, okay? So um, if I'm coloring this building here with warm colors, use the side of your marker, of course, and uh, color in the building like this. Yeah, um, the crayon works fine. Okay, I, I wasn't sure whether when we colored right up to the um, crayon, whether that would be a problem, but it works fine. So... And then, of course, if you don't have markers, then use crayons. It's all right. All right, for this part. So we're going to then color each section like this, different colors. So I started another one over here. All right, see like this. And so um, I'm doing, again, I'm doing this building with warm colors and I'm coloring it like this for some rushing and then saying if I was doing and I would do this all the way up then if I was doing this one in cool colors uh saying I would do this one box you know in purple, a light purple. This is like kind of a lilac color. Like this. Okay. And then I would do the, the next box, you know, in a blue. And I would do all cool colors for this building here. So this is your assignment for the week. Color your buildings in either warm colors or cool colors. I'm not sure yet on the windows. Um, I'll have to check that out. I, I don't remember what I'm going to do on the windows. So um, just color them warm and cool first. We'll wait on the windows. We may have to, I, I forgot what I'm going to do on that, how we're gonna color the windows in. So hold off on the windows, just do the buildings. And don't do the sky yet. We're going to do the sky next week in either watercolor or crayons. And the crayons, I can show you how to blend or use colored pencils, whichever, how you can blend to make different uh, colors. We're going to make the sky blue and we can blend and make different colors of the sky within each of these squares. All right. So um, that's what you're doing for this week. And I will speak to you next week. All right. Bye.